this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking here at is the is a four plate Aaron cell system. This is in the same water, distilled water, slash lye that the Widowmaker has been demonstrated in. What I'm going to show you is what happens when you put a cell in there that isn't to the right specs. Okay, if you notice we're at around 7 amps. If you look really carefully, you're going to see those big bubbles. That's what's happening even on the smaller cell that is not to spec. What I've done on here is made it wider at the top than it is on the bottom, which seems to be the latest speculation of how the Widowmaker works. I'm going to turn that off because it's muddying the water up. And if you look real close, you can see it's continuing. Put out those large bubbles. What I'm going to do now is take it from this smaller container and drop it into the larger tube. I'm going to see what happens here. running at the same amperage around 8 amps now. Now we're down to six. It's six point about six amps. But if you notice, different kind of bubbles. I'm going to take this out. And we're going to hook up the Widowmaker to it. No changes. Stick the Widowmaker into the same tube. Let's see what she does. Can't do it because it's over the amp rating. And why is that? There's no, let's try it over at the other one. Oh, that's why. That was smart. Okay. 
Too much rushing, okay. Back you go. I'm going to put the Widowmaker in there. Had a direct short on there, my fault. Now let's let her run, see what happens. Notice the difference. Boy, notice the difference. So I think we can safely say that it has nothing to do with the amount of water that's in this tube. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Matter of fact, this is producing uh, what you would call a considerable amount of hydrogen. It's at 11.79 volts, 5 amps. Let me turn that off before I fill this room with hydrogen. The sound you hear is the fan that I have running. This was the plate system I had in there before. You see what I did? I widened the top. For those of you who are wondering how the spacing works on the Widowmaker, I'm going to show you on this larger system. There are spacers in between, as in all the Aaron cell systems. You can barely see them. But also, the Aaron cell works in two dimensions, you could call it. There's also a spacer, I call it two spacers, on the top. The way it works is by running the electrode through the top plate, you can make or change the spacing in the whole system. That's how the iron cell does work. So in other words, if you pull the top two plates apart, this plate and that plate, and then run the electrode through it, you can make it hold in that position. Once it holds in that position, then you're changing the bottom plate as well. So, of course, the larger the width on the top, the smaller the width on the bottom. So we're controlling both this side, this side, and the two bottom sides from the top. Also, we're controlling it by the spacer in between. So there's three methods of controlling the air and cell. Those of you who have bought the air and cell already most likely has found that out. I purposely left that out of the specs to see how many people would notice it. So the air and cell is capable of actually three different movements on it. Well, we learned a lot today. More. One thing that stands out more than anything else. This cell is phenomenal. Let me take another look at it here. <laughs>